Oh, YouTube. Now you've really done it. My most recent video about how the mask mandates are going away was taken down by YouTube, and I was given a community guideline strike for spreading medical misinformation that goes against the WHO and other medical authorities. Despite the fact that everything that I said is backed by scientific studies, which I will gladly produce to back my case. I have threatened to tell YouTube, or I have threatened YouTube, rather, that if they do not immediately reinstate my video, that I will be moving all of my content over to BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey, which I have been neglecting to do. But I will move all my content to these other platforms. Now, the problem is that YouTube is not going to reinstate my video. If past behavior is any indication, uh, it's gone. The truth is that everything I said was scientific, but it doesn't matter because there is an ideology being enforced here. This goes to a larger problem with YouTube, Facebook, and other humongous social platforms. If you are a platform, you should be neutral. A platform should not have an agenda. Now, that's up to a certain point, and I, I would love to make a video explaining this, but at this point, I'm not sure that I want to be publishing any such videos to YouTube right now. I think I'd rather focus my effort on something else. So, um, even if YouTube puts the video back, I'm going to stop making as many videos for YouTube. I don't see the point. My content being here, clearly, um, they think that they're the moral arbiters, that it's their job to make decisions for me, even though I'm an adult. And the vast, vast majority of the people who watch my content are adults. According to the metrics, uh, all of you are in my general age group. You know, you're floating around like, what, 25 to 40? We're all adults here. We're all adults, and YouTube is acting like it's our mothers. YouTube is trying to protect us from the evil content on television. YouTube is being our nannies. We are grown human adults. We just, there's no reason for this. It is stupid. YouTube is stupid. And you know what's the ultimate irony here? Is that I'm, I'm going to monetize this video. This one right here that you're watching. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, and the YouTube's trying to kill me with, um, with a, a respiratory trick or something. But no. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm done with this. YouTube is not my mother. YouTube is not your mother. YouTube does not get to make decisions for us, grown adults, mature adults, that are able to conduct our lives as we see fit. YouTube is a platform. YouTube does not have the right to regulate what I can say to you and what you can say to me. And I don't give a rat's ass if they're a private website. It does not matter. When you are large enough and you have enough power over the communications of people, you should be treated as an arm of the government. If you're an individual, that's one thing. If you're a small forum, that's one thing. But when you control millions arguably billions of people, when you have that level of power, when you have that much leverage over the whole society and even other societies, at that point, you are as powerful, if not more powerful than the government or governments, plural. And I, I don't want to make a video about that right now. This is not supposed to be a video about that right now. Here's what you can do to help me. Um, and other people in my situation. First of all, I want you to subscribe to my channel and click the bell, of course. Um, I, I want you to subscribe just because even if I'm not going to make a bunch of stuff on YouTube, your subscription shows support for what I say and for my freedom to say it. So please subscribe and click the bell now. <clears throat> Go find my channels on other platforms, BitChute, Rumble, Odyssey, Go find them. I'll leave a pinned comment on this video to help you find them. You can go to jodybrushon.com and probably find them. Now, Rumble I haven't quite added there yet, but um, I'm, I'm going to obviously be ramping up my moves over to those other platforms now as a result of YouTube's bad behavior. Um, so we're, we're going to take care of this in this manner. The last thing that you can do to help me is go to jodybrushon.com and give me money. There, there's all kinds of ways to give me money. Yeah, e-bag. Woo. Um, you, you can 
do a monthly thing or whatever. I've got flatter coffee, Kofi. I don't even know how you're supposed to pronounce it. Coffee, Kofi. Um, I got PayPal and Subscribestar. I do not have Patreon because I've deleted my Patreon account twice. Um, the first time because they banned Sargon of Akkad, who, whether you agree with him or not, Patreon, and again, a platform, should not be banning people for ideological reasons. And frankly, what was claimed to be the ideological reason didn't even hold water. So it was really just someone pulling strings or putting pressure on them. They did that, so I closed my account, and there was something else that they did after I decided later to reopen my account and give them another chance. Uh, they made me close it again. So, uh, Patreon is just a no, um, because if you were to support me on Patreon, you would be giving money to the people that directly enforce this bias, this agenda. It, uh, God almighty, I need so much more coffee before I do something like this. But the problem is that this just happened. It's like, uh, it's not even noon yet, you know, I'm just, I'm, I've been working and I'm tired already. I just, God, I've been, I've been up, mm. nah, I've, I've just, it's been a morning and I, I, this is the last thing I needed. So yeah, go, go support me, go help me. Um, I will also, um, I have in the works plans to ramp up more content production that, um, kind of got blunted by this. Uh, I was working on that user interface documentary. <sighs> if I put all that work into it and YouTube's just going to screw me, why am I going to do it? Why? No, I mean, I could put it somewhere else where it'll get a fraction of the views. And this is always the problem with social platforms and the reason they need to be regulated like governments. Social is unlike anything else. Social has momentum. Once enough people end up on a platform, if that platform starts abusing, the people can't bail out fast enough. And other people will stay just because of the momentum, which means new platforms will greatly struggle to gain a foothold because the only thing they can offer is we're not them. We're not this this platform that does all these naughty things, and frankly, a lot of people aren't aware of the naughty things, <clears throat> or the naughty things aren't bad enough. The jump off of Patreon, that needed to kill the company. That needed to destroy Patreon, and the problem with it is that it did not destroy Patreon. They continued to exist. So, uh, yeah, basically, um, I will do what I do if people give me money. And I was starting to get a very, very small amount of YouTube ad revenue. It wasn't much, but a hundred bucks or so every two months is at least enough for me to throw a few videos out there from time to time, just to keep you entertained, informed, whatever. But um, everything I said in that video that got banned, everything, I have a scientific study to back it. Everything from mass to vaccines, whatever, doesn't matter. I said things that are backed by science, directly by science. <clears throat> I'm not talking about science like Fox News science or MSNBC science or CNN science or NPR science or Slate science or the Mary Sue science. Jesus Christ. I'm talking about real, actual, scientific studies published in medical journals or published by official government bodies. NIH? I have several NIH studies to back the things that I said. The frickin' NIH. The, the National Institute of Health publishes a study, and and I get banned off of, or I, my video gets banned off of YouTube because I said something that is proven by a NIH study. What the hell are you doing, YouTube? And this goes to a greater problem with science, too. This notion that the science is settled, or the notion that authorities, that the science authorities, let me give you more brightness here, that the science authorities somehow settle the science, that if the WHO or CDC or Dr. Fauci or whoever says a thing, that that thing is true unless they say another thing. Well, the problem is that they said a bunch of things that turned out to be lies, then they said new things, 
And some of those new things turned out to be lies. And you can look that up, too. There's been news coverage of it, of how Dr. Fauci has lied on multiple occasions and been caught in those lies. And that that's just it. The science has never settled on anything, ever. It doesn't matter what the subject is. No science is ever settled. If the science is settled, then it's no longer science. It's doctrine. It's dogma. It's a religion. Science is always open to changes. And that's what I was talking about. In fact, most of the studies that I'm referencing to get this information came out April 2021, some of them later than that. And they contradict earlier studies in 2020 that were used to support all this stuff. Um, for example, one of the things, I, I won't talk about the things that got me banned directly, but I will talk about the fact that the study that supports one of the things that I said that's probably the thing that got the video banned, that all the little Facebook notifications pop up under your post about, that information about the, right? The, the thing that I said about that, that can be found in a study of the Journal of the American Medical Association. There is a study with a table of 20,000 or so participants per... Uh, I can't say it. You see, I can't even say it because I'm being censored. But 20,000-ish each for, for each of the three. And I all I did was do math and say, oh, the numbers come out to this to this F from a JAMA study. A JAMA study. I I am getting banned off of YouTube for citing data from a JAMA study. An actual medical study that is statistically significant, that is experimental rather than observational, that has sound methodology. Nope, not allowed on YouTube. Even though it's published science, it's Everything checks out, not allowed, because an archaic version of what some kind of authority on high said to us, because that is what is allowed on YouTube. The narrative from a year ago, or half a year ago in the case of things that didn't exist a year ago, that's what's allowed on YouTube. But heaven forbid that you actually read a study, and you talk about that study, and you go, look, this scientific study is absolutely golden. It doesn't have flaws that cause it to immediately just be trashed. I can't find a problem with the information collection. I can't find any problems. And the information that I gleaned was just calculated from their data, which they explain how they collected that data. They explain how the control was set up. They explain the variable that they changed. Everything is explained clearly. The data collected is sound. I did some math on that data. I came up with three percentage numbers, and that's why my video got banned off YouTube, and I got a community guideline strike warning. So I can't really risk on YouTube um, speaking about factual scientific things anymore. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop posting such things, and I'm going to change over to just posting stupidly innocent content, which is probably what they want anyway, and I'm going to put all the spicy stuff over on alternative platforms instead, um, and if they don't reinstate my video, even if I end up just deleting it anyway, if they don't take this strike away, oh, then, then yeah, I'm, I'm out. I'm going to go somewhere else. I'm just going to, gone, out of here. Gone. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to do it anymore. YouTube is not going to get any more of my friggin' money or time or anything. I'll be gone. If this is how it happens. Someone like me who hangs out on YouTube, who stays with YouTube, despite the fact that I know all the stuff that they do, because it's so convenient. Because there's so many people and it's so convenient. This is how you get someone like me who is resistant to leaving your stupid platform. This is you how you get someone like me to get out of here. Okay, so even it doesn't matter what they do at this point. I am going to go elsewhere, but my presence on YouTube and whether or not I'm aggressively driving traffic to those elsewheres, it rests entirely on how they handle this one video. If they do not handle it properly, I'm out. Screw them.
Don't care. You'll get nothing but frou-frou content on YouTube from now on. And I will actively post videos driving people to other sites to watch my good stuff that I've been working on. If I'm going to put all this time and effort into it, and this is the way you're going to treat me when I do stuff that is scientifically valid and accurate, backed up by facts, backed up by studies that are solid, this is how I feel about it. Bathe in it, YouTube. Bathe in it. Naturally, this video will be monetized. Please disable your ad blocker and watch it again. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. I'm so pissed. Stupid YouTube mother...